gentlemen, it's the Touch You Baby Face Show where we bring you only kings. Now there was a time in Nigeria when Fuji music was just for one group of people. Maybe if you lived in certain areas. But over the years, some people have done more than other people to make sure that Fuji music is accepted worldwide. My next guest is one of those people. Whether you're talking of in Canada, whether you're speaking in London, whether you're speaking in Dubai, in South Africa, anywhere worldwide, this man has been credited with the revolution of Fuji music. Please welcome the one, the only, King Wasiwa in the Marshall, K1 the Ultimate! <laughs> Alaji, you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Alaji, please, let's get it straight. Which one should I call you? Is it Alaji or Marshall or King or Uluaye or Mo Uluomo or Kapodi Tuti? Which one, sir? Um, you call me Kapodi Tuti. Kapodi Tuti, you are, you are <laughs> Right. <laughs> so good to see you, sir. You look, you look sharp, sir. You look well. You look well, sir. Thank you. I heard that you also like Chris Watches as well. I heard that you also like Chris Watches. So, in fact, Mori... Uh, a fine man. A fine man will always love good things. A fine man will always love good things. Definition, allergy is a fine man. Anyhow, you want to think about it. <laughs> Usually, I'm not all up in hits like this, but he's actually one of the people that... And when people look at me, they don't understand that I'm actually vast in music. And I, and I know allergy's music very well. Now, I hear many names. I hear... And, and not you now. Uh, all musicians. There are, there's Lieutenant, there's Commander, there's Admiral, there's King, there's Queen, there's, there's also, is it that if I want to be a musician tomorrow, I can just wake up tomorrow and call myself Lieutenant, Teju Babyface, and the Sweet Time Boys? Is it that people just give? In showbiz, anything goes. Because that's why we call it showbiz. Show and biz. So you want to be very strong and perfect in the business aspect of it, the show, then you put in something that's really the show. So the show is somebody calling himself Lieutenant Admiral. That's the show. Because normally we believe an Admiral or a Lieutenant will definitely be a military officer. So when you now see a non-military personnel answering the name Admiral, that is the show for you. So show be. Hey, sir, sir, sir. Elijah, still talking about your fans. I hear, I know, in fact, I know, I hear that there are some fans that follow you anywhere you're playing in the world. I mean, if, if they hear you're playing tomorrow in Canada, then as far as they're concerned, Canada is a place to be. And they follow you all around like that. And with the money and everything, I mean, what, what, what do you do for them? As in, what, how do you show your appreciation for those kind of people? Are, are those the kind of people who hear you sing about in your song? Because I always wonder, what do I have to do to be in a large song? I remember when I was a young man, a very little chap like that, I have my own love as well in, in music and entertainment. And I can, I don't mind being punished when I get back home after I've gone to satisfy myself. Who did you like, sir? Who did you like? Honestly, I love KSC. What does KSC you like? <laughs> you like? You like KSC? I love KSC. Isn't is that, is that funny? Because... Because you, you, I mean, you, 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 you play Fuji and now you're the king of Fuji music. And Juju music is slightly different from. You see, not, not about what we now term Fuji, Juju music. I've always been a fan of uh, good music. I love Olatunji Yusu. I love Arun and Shola. 
But I see KSA as the role model, the kind of a person I have, like, oh, I like this, I like the style of this man, and I want to be like this man. Every time the dexterity shows, you know, the swagger. The swagger, the, the swagger. The swagger is, <laughs> I like this, so the swagger is very important. <laughs> yeah, the swagger he shows, you know, in the course of doing what he knows and doing best, really turns me on. And well, I, I dream, I dream of being like him every time. Yeah. <laughs> you people don't hear things. <laughs> I mean, we keep hearing stories. We never know whether they, whether it's true. Uh, this musician is fighting the other one and all those kind of things. And I know that usually you should be up above that, but uh, how, how does it work in the industry and how can there be better unity, so to speak? In, in, let's take the Fuji industry, for example. You want to hear the truth? Yeah, the truth, sir. The truth, the truth, sir. I like it. I'll tell you something. It's only the lazy mind that believes before it could make any inroad into a way of success is by probably, you know, using one style or one form of thing, bringing the other one down because it wants to gain, you know, popularity or stability. You can't gain anything in that. People are in full no more. The people who listen to music today, both the old and the younger ones, they know value of music. That's why you see them sticking their head, you know, into it. And um, any musician who feels could make anything, you know, to way of success in uh, in a style like you know, like that, is, is living in the full world. I tell you, because I want to play good music. I want to, I want to, I want to be somewhere I've never been before and I have a whole lot of people there. I want to convince this crowd that I'm a good entertainer. I'm a good singer. Well, that's what I want to prove to them. I won't waste their sitting and their spending to get to an arena simply because I want to abuse a fellow musician. You're taking them for right and you can only do that for probably one time. And next time you are called to such an arena, you won't command, you won't command any, any respect. Not only that, People won't be there because some will tell you, I won't go somewhere and spend my money listening to, you know, you abusing another person. You're living in the fool's world. <laughs> and we are, the campaign we are waging now is for all entertainer, all musicians to know that if you want to borrow the world, what we're doing at all is what doing well. Then you live good for it. You have a lot to show for it. Mm. So as, as a senior musician, you're already working on something to bring unity. Over the years, we've been doing that, and we kept on doing it. And you can see it. I mean, it says, show yourself as a good example. So that's I'm showing myself. So people look at me. <laughs> see me. Okay, Alaji. Uh, uh, and, and I heard that uh, you used to play with uh, uh, Alaji Sikura and the barista that used to be in his band a long, long time ago. Is, is that true? Uh, yeah. Um, I started from the lowest cadre of the organization of Alaji Sikura and the barista. I'm on a packer boy, a loader, under Alaji Barista. Sorry, and, I, sorry, Alaji. What, what, you were once a packer boy under Alaji Sikura. What, what does a packer boy or a loader do? A packer boy, definitely the people working to prepare this page, taking charge of the equipment. Carrying the speaker, carrying the speaker bringing the, that's what you used to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, okay, so Alaji, your success story, you used to be the person who would carry the speakers, and carry the keyboard and all those things are set up for the big musicians to come and play. And do you know that success of me is not only by me alone, but much of it to him as well. Because <clears throat> if he has not given me that opportunity, probably, you know, my firm belief in where I'm going wouldn't probably have been there. So it takes the larger part of, you know, the credits. The credits as well. Okay. The credits is not just me, but much to him as well. Okay, so Alaji, uh, he did this for you. I mean, how are you, what are you doing for the younger ones? Because, I mean, like I said, nobody lives forever. Even if you live to be 130, sir. Definitely someday you go. You, one time. You go. I mean, so who is going to say that uh, when I was hustling, I'm not the king of Fuji music, but King Wasio Aide Masha, K1, the ultimate, Kapo de Tutti, he took me under his wing. He... I did, I, I think I did a lot of that. And I've done the very best of myself to, to do the same thing as was done. And to me, to lift and build other people to stand up as well. I have, I have, I have a lot of, I have a lot of um, successes to show. 
to prove my point. And I'm still doing it. But the point is, if we take to the way we serve that time, the firm belief we have in the man we're serving, to this day, we are everybody just want to do one or two things and get to the top. Pam. You know, they don't, maybe people don't want to wait. They don't want to, you know, they don't take patience. I took a lot of patience. It wasn't, it wasn't something of um, um, one night overnight. It's something of, um, you know, belief, firm belief, and you set the ball rolling. So anybody choosing that way as well, you definitely enjoy the very best of me. There's, there's a friend of mine who I went to the University of Lagos with. If you're watching this, Father Bolaji Peter, he's probably dying at home now watching this. Oh, yeah, Bolaji. Oh, you know him? Oh, I know him. Can you imagine? That means that Bolaji has walked his way from being a student into your heart. You, you actually know him now? Right from his student days. Hell. Oh. So all the money he didn't have that you used to collect from us was to watch was you. No, 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 not only that. <laughs> not only that, you know. I catch, I catch people so young. I, have, I catch my followers very, very young. So, including you. You caught I'm, me, though. No. Actually, you caught me young. And I, I used to like you, but it was Bolaji that, that did it. And, and he had one mixtape that I used to play all the time. And it was a mixture of so many things. You remember that song, I think? I can't remember. <laughs> Oh, like you're not too too gone, you're not too gone. I mean, well, I'm, I'm, I'm rust like that, don't worry. You know, you just it's beautiful fun. music. Some of the most wonderful I know listen to your music. And that is very good. All right, sir. So, as I was saying, we took a picture of you when you sat down. And uh, that picture was taken by Quartz Photography, QF. And we'd like to present you with that picture before you go and some other things as well. All right, Alaji, this is a, a picture of uh, you and I sitting down. They took it now? Just now. Just now. That is technology for you. That is technology for you. <laughs> and of course, uh, we have a cake as well by our friend, uh, Creams and Cupcakes, uh, Rachel. Uh, she made this, and uh, I think she actually made this in the shape of a microphone. If I will open this up, yes. She made this in the shape of a microphone, Elijah. Wow. See. <laughs> she even had a, she had K1 written on it. I mean, it's beautiful. K1 the ultimate. K1 the ultimate written on it. That's beautiful. And of course, um, we have from our partners, from Macedo, we have a top tea for you, a carton of top tea and a carton of loyal milk. And uh, we'll just pack everything and take it into your car. All right? Thank you very much, girls. You can take it back. All right, people. Only on the third you baby face show will bring you nothing but the kings. And I know you've been at home. Let this man sing. Let this man sing. When we come back, it is a full party because Alaji is here. King Washia and Marshall, the first K1 the ultimate with his band. And we'll be grooving in a few minutes. Stay with us, people. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, only on Tajibay Face Show we bring you kings and nothing but kings. I'd like to thank the king himself. I'd like to thank director Tadio Gidon. I'd like to thank all you wonderful people. See you next week.